Hi there guys, my name is Aeon and you can learn, make and create together with me in Adobe Photoshop. Today I'm going to show you how you can edit a portrait step by step using my action. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop, as you can see, but before we start retouching this portrait, uh, you have to check all the links down in the description because you will find the raw file and the retouching actions. And I'm using my phone in Tools Pro, I'm not using a mouse for a touch, I'm gonna click clean and click play after we do that as you can see we have two different new layers one of them is a duplicated background renamed clean and one of them is the black and white tile player that helps us to see some details in the harsh highlight so as you can see a before and after i'm gonna click on clean and i'm gonna start cleaning with a auto clean brush tool clean brush tool and patch i'm gonna zoom in here in the forehead and i'm gonna start cleaning And now that you are done with the clean as you can see a before and after it's time for the pre-paint separation so we're gonna click here on fs plus and click play so for the right radius of this portrait i think that i'm gonna go by 10 percent click ok now after it's done open the pre-paint separation group and click on the low because we are going to work on the low or in the color and in the texture after so i'm gonna click here on the uh, sorry mixer brush tool for the right settings of the mixer brush tool, I'm going to go by 10% of the wet. Load by 45, mix by 45 and flow by 33. And turn out the high frequency or the texture. And start working with the mixer brush. And mixing the skin tones just like that. Now here is a before and after what we've done in the frequency separation and I think that we are done with the low, it's time for the high. So I'm gonna zoom in on the texture and in the high I'm going to use clone stamp tool with 100% opacity and 100% low. I'm gonna zoom in where I want to clean the texture. So click the clone stamp tool and click alt keyboard, hold it to copy the texture and paste it like this. Make sure to copy paste as near as possible because if you want to, uh, if you don't want to uh, make a bad texture, for example, if you copy here and paste it like this, it will create some bad texture. So be careful when you are using clone stamp tool. You have to copy paste as near as possible. Just like this. Now check a before and after of the frequency separation and I think that is looking amazing so far. And now that we are done with the frequency separation, as you can see before and after of this entire process, it's time for some dodge and burn. So I'm gonna click on dodge, click play, click burn, click play and turn on the black and white. With a white brush and 10% opacity, I'm just gonna paint it on the highlights where I want to dodge. You can zoom in the forehead and keep working with a smaller brush just like I am doing right now. Now zoom out and check a before and after. Keep working just a little on the neck or in the body part, just like that. I think it's okay. Now I'm gonna open the dodge and turn on the saturated layer. And I'm gonna reduce this by 75. I 
think that 75 is okay now I click on the burn zoom in I'm gonna burn the cheeks just a little around the forehead just a little on the eyebrows I, a little on the eyelashes now check a before and after I think it starts to look really nice now check up before and after and I'm gonna reduce it just a little now check up before and after of this entire process I think is really amazing I'm gonna open the frequency separation and click on the low frequency and make another copy of this I'm gonna zoom in here on the eyes I'm gonna click here on the dodge on the midtones and 10% of that I'm just gonna paint it inside the eyes now check it before and after and I think it's looking okay now click on the burn midtones and 20% opacity I'm just gonna paint it on the eyelashes just like that now check it before and after I think it's okay now do that same process in other one first the dodge we're gonna make them eyes pop just like that now click on the burn and paint on the eyelashes you can even do just a little on the eyebrows now check a before and after of this process i think it's okay but i'm gonna reduce it just a little now that we are done with frequency separation, dodge and burn, I'm gonna play sharpen and basic contrast. Wait until it's done, turn off the sharp uh, contrast first. And as you can see that sharpen is uh, in a black mask, so I'm gonna make it white. I'm gonna zoom in and reduce the opacity of this one by 50%. Now click on the basic contrast. And I think that 100% is way too much, so I'm gonna go by 50%. Now check up before and after all this entire process. And I think that is looking okay. Now that we are done with the retouch, I'm gonna put some color weights here. So I'm gonna go with A9 and play it. And as you can see that this color weight is kind of way too much. So I'm gonna open the group and turn off them all. And I will check them one by one until I find the best color grading settings so i'm gonna go by 0.5 on this one leave this one as it is and this one by two percent and this one i think is way too much so i'm gonna go by 10 this one is off and this one by five percent color balance of this one by five percent and this one by now check a before and after of this A1 and I think this is okay but I'm gonna make some other adjustments so I'm gonna click here on the selective color and click on yellows and make some changes in the yellow tones now check a before and after I think that this one is okay just reduce it a little now click again on the selective color click on the reds I'm gonna make some changes into the red color now check a before and after reduce it now click here again on the color balance and click on the highlight so I'm gonna put highlight into gold into the cyan just like this but as you can see this one is way too much I'm gonna go by 25 Click again on the color balance and click on the midtones. So for the midtones, I'm going into red, into yellow, and switch the blending mode from normal to soft light. And reduce this by 20. Now check it before and after. I think it's okay. Now click here on the black and white and switch the blending mode from normal to luminosity. And I think that I'm gonna bring up the magentas just a little and yellows also red and maybe 
this by 10%, put all these settings into the color grade. And as you can see before and after all this color grade, now I'm gonna put this contouring, click play, wait until it's done and check a before and after. I'll double click on this one. This one is for the highlights, midtones and the shadows. So I'm gonna play with the highlights and the midtones just a little. Now check a before and after of this one. Reduce it by 50%. Check again on the color grade, which is A9. And I think that I'm gonna reduce it by 25. Now check a before and after of this entire process. So this is before and this is after retouch and this is before and this is after retouch you can zoom in and check a before and after and i think that this looks amazing so that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video tutorial please don't forget to check all the links down in the description because you will find the raw file and retouching actions also let me know if i'm understandable or not let me know if you learned some from this video tutorial and drop some likes for the algorithm why not if you didn't subscribe already consider to do it if you think that i'm worth it and see you guys in the next one peace